Well, Bill and Candace, those numbers are shocking, certainly. And according to this audit, though, that was a 333% overtime increase just within the last year. Meanwhile, I spoke with the sheriff and she tells me it's all about keeping the staff safe and the inmates secure. This is the Richmond City Justice Center, run by Richmond City Sheriff Antoinette Irving. We have many needs of the individuals that are there. The jail holds more than 20 pods separating groups of inmates. We have over 58 pages of individuals that have to be kept separate from other people. Which the sheriff says requires a lot of staff to keep things in order. A new audit report released by the Richmond City Auditor shows that the sheriff's office overtime spending has gone up 333% in the last year. Overtime's increasing simply because we're paying people to work. According to the audit, the increased overtime pushed the sheriff's budget into the red by $2.8 million in the last year. The report also shows that the average jail population dropped in the last four years from around 970 inmates to an average of 750. Because our numbers are going down, it doesn't stop the fact that we have to provide the appropriate types of, of supervision and security for the individuals that are there. And the report also found the jail is in need of improvements and better staff assignments. Even if we have pods that are open, we, if we have enough enemies around, we have to make sure that those individuals are separate. Despite the alarming numbers uncovered in the audit, Sheriff Irving says her biggest priority is the safety of the inmates and her staff. The audit stated that um, we justify every overtime bit of overtime that we use. Uh, the, the thing about evaluating where we can efficiently put our staff is the main thing that we constantly look at. Now, the audit recommends the sheriff office analyze the pod capacity usage and staffing assignments to find ways to reduce overtime while maintaining a safe and secure jail. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Matthew Fultz, CBS 6 News.